Okay. Yesterday I was watching Janelle Monet on The Breakfast Club and they were asking her, it was Char Charlamagne Tha God was asking her a question about um, this, Charlamagne Tha God was asking her a question about this pain that she kept uh, painting, like this female sil silhouette uh, in her concert. She would paint in her concerts and sing at the same time and it always was this lady silhouette and um, she said that he uh, he said that um, I heard you were going to like a um, psychiatrist for the painting because you didn't know what it was. So he was asking her about that, and she corrected him and she said, "No, I wasn't going to a psychiatrist. I was going to a therapist." And she said that she was going to the therapist uh, because she felt like this was coming out of her and she didn't understand what was going on. So she went to the therapist to talk it out, and eventually, what it led to was the Electric Lady. That's what she named the Electric Lady which is now her new album. And if you haven't heard it, actually go check it out. But um, she was saying that um, she was going to a therapist and not a psychiatrist. And she said she encourages everybody to go to, the psych uh, to go to the therapist and just talk about things. And I could not agree with her more. And lately, I in my personal life, I've been feeling like I need to go see the uh, therapist, which I have actually done before. And um, I know that's like a taboo thing. And I'm not saying this from a, from a military standpoint. I'm saying this from uh, as being an African American. I know that um, I don't know how many black people actually watch my channel, but I know in the black community we have a thing against uh, talking to you know psychiatrists, uh, psychologists, therapists, whatever, mentors, whatever. And I'm not sure where that comes from. I guess we don't want people in our business collectively. I'm saying we collectively don't want people in our business, and we feel like what is our problem should be our problem but I've been to the uh, therapist before and it's actually um, called MFLAC in the military and MFLAC is a uh, military family uh, military family and life counseling and these people are just there they the person I talked to was a psychologist I think and I, uh, I basically I just went to him because I was really stressed out about some things uh, that had happened over, over like Christmas time period, and um, I felt like I was disrespected by a couple of my friends, and so I I was finding I was finding it really difficult to get over that, and um, you know normally I can get over things like that, but um, it affected me to the point where I wasn't sleeping well and I wasn't eating and I was just very upset about. Uh, a lot of things. So I was like, okay, so I'll just go to MFLAC. And uh, I was a little apprehensive of going to MFLAC, you know, go to the therapist because, you know, it's going to the therapist. People are going to think that you're crazy. But most people who go aren't crazy and they don't report it and um, they don't tell you anything to your commander unless you're suicidal or you plan on hurting someone that, or you tell them that you're planning on hurting someone or yourself. They don't say anything about it. There's no paperwork. Uh, they don't keep records. They don't call anybody. They just you're just there to talk to people. And um, I was looking for the number actually to go to MFLAC. Couldn't find it. It wasn't online. Well, I didn't know what it was called, so that's why I couldn't find it. So I went to the first sergeant office, and he wasn't there. And then uh, my best friend, who had previously gone to MFLAC, he he's gone before for uh, marital problems. Um, he didn't know the number. And then I went to like a master sergeant who I knew and um, I asked her if she knew the number and she did know the number but she knew the number also because she had gone herself so there's a lot of people who who have gone and they may not talk about it because again people think that going to a therapist kind of just insinuates that you're crazy but you're not there's nothing wrong with you um I went and um as I was looking for the number I was telling people why I wanted to go and they were like, oh, yeah, I've been for, you know, my friend told me he went for when his marriage was stressing him out. And the master sergeant told me she went because she felt crazy during her pregnancy. People go because they don't like their job. People go because their family is stressing them out. People go because they just need somebody to talk to. Um, it's basically just a couch for you to go sit on and then you just talk to people until you feel better. And they give you suggestions or they don't. It's up to you. If you want to hear what they have to say or you just want to talk to somebody and just get out, you're venting. And um, uh, I feel like uh, Jan Janelle Monet had a good point when she said everybody should go and talk to the therapist or talk to the, one of their friends just to get emotions out because we, we contain too much stuff. As just humans in general, we contain a, a lot of emotion. And... We try to keep that in, you know, because through society we've learned, you know, letting certain things out is bad. 
and to talk about how you feel something's upsetting you or you know something makes you uncomfortable you know as you mature into an adult you need to maintain those feelings and learn to fix it out by yourself and that's not really uh practical in a lot of point in a lot of positions and at the time when I first went uh, around Christmas it wasn't practical for me because I could not get over it and I'm now feeling like um I'm having some new things come up and and it's pertain it just pertains to my job and how I'm kind of um I feel I'm kind of stuck in a, a position and I don't like where I am and it's not on me to adjust it and so I can't I can't fix it I can't um, I can't make a, a change in my life to to direct myself to where I would like to go which is what I usually do which is how I wound up in the Air Force I wasn't happy with how my life was going so I joined the Air Force so now that I'm here and I'm in this position I feel like I'm stuck in that I would like to move forward, but the way that my job is structured, I cannot do that, and so it's really frustrating to me, and I feel very, um, I feel very uh, uh, stuck in in the, in the position, and it's just it's just really just weigh, weigh, weighing on me. And so I kind of feel like I need to go back to Implac to talk to these people. Because if I don't, what's going to happen is that somebody's going to say something to me at work. And I'm just going to blow up on them. And I don't really want to do that because they don't really look too kindly on stuff like that. So um, I just want you guys to know that, um, first of all, there's nothing wrong with going to the therapist. And I kind of want to let you know what's going on with me and this doesn't affect why I don't make videos frequently or anything I just really don't have things to talk about a lot of times but um, um, there's nothing wrong with going to MFLAC or going to the therapist your counselor your mentor so on and so forth I've been before in high school when I was having this issue with this person that I was really attracted to and I didn't really understand those feelings but as a 16 year old I can't you know that's that's over and done with that was nine years ago but um there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I I fully and wholeheartedly agree with Janelle Monet. If you can just be completely happy, you know, and be satisfied with your life, you just want to talk to somebody about it. That's you just feel satisfied. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. People go talk to their pastors and all that all the time. So, um, I I completely agree that people should go and just get their feelings out. You know, it it really helps. And I after I left the um, the guy, the Inflac, um guy, I felt so much better. Like I, everything kind of just went away. It all just faded away. Like I got to say everything I wanted to say, and I don't. I'm not really one for yelling at people. I mean, I I have yelled before, but I'm not really one for um, expressing emotion like that. I'm I'm a fairly private person. But um, I got to say exactly what I needed to say. He helped me kind of, he was like, maybe just write a letter and, and to your friend and say what, how you feel. And I did that. And um, he gave me some suggestions on how to get over it, you know. And um, it, I mean, it, it, I'm not going to say it didn't work because basically I didn't listen to him. But, um, but I do feel a lot better about it. I'm still upset about what happened, but I'm not as effective by it by any means. Um, so I, I think that was a great idea for me to go and I might actually start going weekly because I have like another 80 something days here. And I just don't think that being in the position that I am, that I'm really going to make it without snapping on somebody. So, uh, the military has in black and it's for, it's not just for military people. It's for like their spouses and you know, their kids and dependents or whatever. So it's actually a pretty good program. And there are a lot of people that use it and people may not say that they use it, but they definitely do. And so if you are feeling like you have an issue, uh, like I currently feel like I have an issue right now that I just cannot get out of, just go talk to those people. If you can't if you have a friend who you trust and that's exactly how I am right now. I thought that I don't trust my friends is that it would be inappropriate for me to share with them how I feel or they just wouldn't understand. Uh, so if you have an issue, go talk to these people. That's what I plan on doing. I might make a video telling you how it went. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of like I don't want to put too much stuff on the internet because they would think of me jumping the chain of command, I guess. Or it would be like an inappropriate way for me to um, to share my job experience or something like that but maybe I don't know or I'll just give that aftermath but I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me and hopefully you like this video about some real life stuff that's going on with me and then I'll talk to you guys later